we have uh, one, a, a, a bishop in our midst, Bishop Obi Onubogu. All the way from Enugu. He's a bishop. We, we met almost how many? 15 years or more ago. Um, I was chairman of PFNF City and he was, I think, in Enugu, in Enugu, Enugu State then. And we met and had been. The last time we came, went to Enugu, he made, what did he, he made the stage available. He made the stage available for our crusade in Enugu. And he has a testimony. And he came all the way. I mean, he should be in his church on a Sunday ministry. But he came all the way to Abuja here. He said, I want to share the testimony in the front of the crowd. And that was very thoughtful of you. Please come forward, sir. Just very quickly, in two minutes. It is a pleasure for me to be here. I feel blessed that the Lord has asked me to come. My testimony is straight. And I want you to listen very well. First of all, the Lord spoke to me and said, People like you don't share testimonies. That is, you are a bishop, you are so and so and so, so you don't yes. share testimony, you don't tell anybody whatever me, God does. He was chastising me. I said, don't be like them, share your testimony. You are not too big to tell people what I use somebody else to do for you. But I didn't realize that till it was becoming too late. So, this is what happened. When this church, this ministry, had a crusade in Enugu, it was a stadium crusade. I received special invitation. And I have, I think I kept it somewhere. But I, I, I came up here to show you. The moment I received the invitation, the Spirit of the Lord said to me, identify with this holy with your whole people with your mind so that's what happened but hear this story when the family my son and the wife who worships here and the children they worship in this uh, branch and um, they imported this this stage from china and then i received the, inf um, the invitation to the crusade they approached me and said could you make the stage available to this ministry? Speak to the head of the ministry. Offer a stage. That was a, my, a mighty crusade. I mean, a, a stage that had never been used. So we did that. And the pastors in Enugu uh, came to see the stage and approved. So on the first night of the crusade, I was there. And let me tell you, I am... 83 years old. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I want to tell you also that I've never been admitted in hospital. And, and still by the grace of God, I've never therefore had surgery. I've had malaria, maybe, I remember, maybe three times of all my 83 years of living here. But before the crusade, I was having a um, certain situation with my, with my body. I was urinating uh, four or five times during the night every night so i offered myself for um test and it was carried out and so the man that carried it out instead of giving the, the result to me he gave it to my son who is seated down there and he said to him ask your daddy to go for medical check immediately and treatment 
for this is what killed my father the doctor is telling his son yes for his father to go for the bishop to go immediately for medical check because what he has seen in the bishop's investigation killed the doctor's father hello yes and he says my situation was worse than that so i uh, i didn't know about this i went to the crusade i sat uh, close to the man of god and the wife and all the delegation up the first night then i went home to receive this report and my whole family in abuja in london in uh, everywhere they were communicating they said no this is terrible we can't allow him to do that so they sent me to a special hospital this is what happened the man looked at me and examined me he said we must find out if it is cancerous this is uh, what, what do you prostate call? prostrate it's so high we must find out whether it's cancerous we must get into your intestines and take uh, a bit of skin yeah. and an biopsy and, and, check and they it told out. me it will cost about i don't know 1.5 million or so so i said to him no I'm, i don't do such things i have prayers i i know something came over me did you hear what i said he said you have a man of god in the city have you have you approached him please listen i was i am a leader in the city of enugu and in the state and i respect my colleagues men of god but god said to me go and ask for prayers from this man of god so i tried he was too busy for two days i tried the pastors tried it wasn't possible to connect until when i tried the last time they said he was at the airport and i got one oral honorable That's your right. son yes i said please call me call my number and take the phone to this while we are at the airport about to board yes the young man called his phone yes. and gave me the phone yes that's right and the man of god standing beside me i prayed for i believe 30 seconds to 40 seconds he said that infirmity is gone and he says you cannot you will testify you are going to testify about this that's about 30 to 40 seconds and Take, the not prayer. up to a minute of prayer not, not up to a minute and this is what happened from the next week all the condition begin to ease out i did not being a minister and understanding certain spiritual things i did not stop there i went for another test and it was confirmed that the, the pressure on my bladder that's what causes it yeah. has gone down and what my son received they say the situation has changed and right now even last night even from last night i use the bathroom only once through the night are you just standing and looking like that and i have come to thank the lord i, I, I have come to thank the lord i know it is the mercy of god that is used his servant i thank you for this opportunity age 83 thank you so much looking still it looks like he, he can go for more another 20 more years as the way he's strong like this age 83 and god killed the, the symptoms that killed the doctor's father killed everything destroyed everything and now he said he must come in person he wants to give an offering you can get him a basket lift up your hands people you know when you told me last time your age i didn't it was this last time we met and you said you are 80 something i said what so the first time we met you were already 70 something only god can do this Hallelujah. on his feet diagnosis cancelled symptoms disappear he said now when he sits with young men young pastors in his in, in his office and they are doing some meetings you see some of the bishops and other people they'll be going to use the restroom many times 
you will sit down and be laughing yes. at them. Yes, yes. Say, Look at you. You people yes. are younger than me. I see mean, my own ass. <laughs> hey! 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 Are you hearing him shouting? Young man, what, what are you doing when an, uh, an 83 year old man is. Hey! Hey! Only you celebrate, celebrate. Get Only your bottle you of oil. Do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, only you, Jehovah. That was the end of the crusade. Show it again. End of the crusade. Showing you the stage that they, they, they sold. Only you, only you, only you. Holy you, holy Jesus, holy you, holy you, holy Jesus, holy you, holy Jesus, holy you, 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 But God has walked through. God has tried. Pick up your bottles of oil and let's place the sea. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. As your days, so may your strength be. Like Moses, you will keep on going. Thank you, sir. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Only you are capable. Only you are reliable, God. Only you are capable. Yeah. Only you are.